So cross country season is here. It sounds like some pretty good training by the entire squad over the summer. I'm going to start with you, Carrie. Talk a little bit about our, Can you believe it's your senior year already? No, I don't <laughs> think it's my senior year still. I still identify as a sophomore because that's when COVID started. <laughs> <laughs> well, talk a little bit about what did you do to get yourself better this summer? Um, well, honestly, just being able to wake up and go on that run in the morning. Just being able to do it first thing before I wanted to procrastinate was a good way to get started. And I didn't have to do much, just like a half hour run. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of the girls trained pretty well over the summer. How much do you feel that will benefit this team this fall? Um, well, I think that allows us to come into the season not starting brand new. So, like, our lungs are more are stronger and our legs are also stronger and have more muscle. And just we're able to come in and be able to handle the longer training, tra longer amounts of training that Chevron gives us. Yeah. What about for the boys? So talk a little bit about what are, what are some of the prospects and, and how's training going so far, Nathan? Yeah. During the summer, we had a really good group of guys that came every day for from start to finish, and we had some really good time trial results and it paid off. So yeah, we had a really good summer training overall. And, that's kind of what is motivating us to keep going for season, and we should do really good. Yeah, how was camp last week up at uh, yeah, it was, Granby? It was good. It was fun. We had a really good team bonding throughout the whole time, and it was, it was a good time. Obviously, Lemmy's known as kind of one of the powers of cross country. Maybe we've dropped back a little bit the last couple of years. What what gets the girls maybe elevated in the standings this year, Carrie? Um, when it comes to like cross country, just the fact that the girls are just such a team, we're all friends with each other, which means if someone's feeling down and just not wanting to work work out or do the workout that day, we are all like there figuring out why, um, <laughs> helping each other continue to do it, and just the fact that we don't have to do it by ourselves and we can like run as a team. I think that's one of our bigger strengths. Well, are there? What are some of the other teams that you think are going to be good this fall? Do you um, know? Central, Cheyenne Central for sure. Uh, we know a lot of girls from that team, and they are all very fast and very good. Mm -hmm. And they're so much fun to hang out with, too. <laughs> I think they have the same thing going with, like, good team teamwork and just, like, a solid team. Gotcha. What about uh, for the boys? Who, who are you guys looking out for this year? Yeah, I know Central has a good team, and I, I know Sheridan has a stack squad over there. So it, it, it's, it's going to be good to go against them to see how we stack against them. So. What do you two both think it will take to kind of close the gap so that you are maybe closer to some of those powerhouse teams? Nathan? Um, I, I think just competing against them to see how okay. they are and see what we can do to get closer to them and how we can improve off of that. So, Would you add anything? Um, making goals. Like, for instance, um, I know my freshman year when I was still just little, a bunch of the seniors would uh, have girls that they would not necessarily target but look at. And they would go, well, this girl's faster than me. Here's this time. Here's how we break it down. Here's how we get faster through training. Okay. And they would, like, go after each girl and figure out how to just get faster throughout the races. So being able to set goals like that, for sure. Okay. Help. And then kind of lastly, what do you enjoy the most about running cross country? Nathan? Just, like, the team environment of how well everybody gets, like, or how everybody gets well with each other. So just we all have a good time together and... We train well together, and it's just a fun time to be around everybody. Carrie, how would you describe the environment on the bus? Oh, the bus is a lot of fun. I, I like to think of it as a carnival. Just <laughs> everyone's either on a sugar high or, or like, we're trying to perform cartwheels or tricks. And, I mean, safe. obviously, it's very safe. <laughs> but the bus is a lot of fun, and it's especially for in previous years for uh, races, just really motivating and just, yeah, great place to be on, to be around people before your race, for sure. Yeah. This is a quick question for both of you. Is it nice to kind of be back to normal with the schedule, the bigger meets, so you see a more uh, a more wide variety of competition instead of the smaller meets like last year? I, I, yeah, for sure. More people you can, um, can meet, more people you can, like, become friends with and compete with, for sure, yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate both of your time. Best of luck this season.